We went through the civil rights. And we, some people didn't even work even down to go through the whole thing. We were there for what, an hour and a half, two hours? Two, yeah, we were there for a whole two hours. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing today? Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. <laughs> so y'all have met Mr. Burkett. Just sorry, Mr. Burkett. Excuse me, sir. Let me step over here. <laughs> Give him this cough and this cough. How you doing? Okay. Okay. This is everybody? Yeah. This is everybody? Yeah. 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 I just want to bring you greetings here to the Mississippi Association of Cooperatives. I'm Darnella Winston, and I run some of the programs here under Mr. Burkett. Um, I've been here about 10 years now at this grassroots organization, which is the best that we do work with farmers, landowners, promoting CLA, Cooperative Development, Land Retention, and Advocacy. That's the work that we do. And I'm also a fourth generation vegetable farmer in Hattiesburg for Paddle, Mississippi. And so I just want to welcome you all. I'm glad Mr. Jones, Ms. Jones, was able to get you all here. As he said, this is our 15 year celebration. And so we're just, we're gonna grill and chill and get a soiree, get a banquet and yeah, and everything. So I just wanna welcome you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we call him Mr. B. Mr. Mr. B. Mr. B. <laughs> young people here. I don't know why y'all want me to speak to you, but I can speak a long time. <laughs> so if I just step here and y'all can ask me some questions. I'm 70 years old. I've been farming all my life. I actually started farming on my own in 1973. I'm a proud product of a land grant university, Alcorn State University. I studied agriculture there. My intention was to go to Chicago when I graduated. My father got sick. Yeah. You get a chance to see some of our ancestors and what they gone through to get to where they are. But here, I met, I saw Mr. Burkett on a YouTube video. I got a chance just to meet him last year. That was about four years ago. Got a chance to just meet him last year. And 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 here we have a legend amongst us. And I just wanted you all to get an opportunity. I was so excited to meet him last year. And when you all came to town and this event was going on, I said, whoa, man, if y'all sit spend this much time with him and just talk to him and get some information and learn some about the organizations of how it went. We'll have to do what he's doing today. And I appreciate you all for taking out. Thank you so much. Yes, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you all. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And in this building, you see there's two blocks on the county. We own this building. Because I'm struggling to pay for it. We've mortgage for more time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's absolutely totally owned by the farmers in the state of Michigan. We're the only business on the street. The law school is going to buy us out. going to buy us out. Mm. Mm. going to hold out to the end. To the end. We see the law school right, right yeah. here. Right behind. And the dean come over here to at least once a month. With cookies and cupcakes. <laughs> 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 Trying to get us yeah. <laughs> But we're still here. Farming is a, is a, is a, probably going to have to be somebody. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we've been going in high tongue, we've been going in high tongue, we've gone in high tongue, we've gone in high tongue, and 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 we've gone in in the cooperative movement and work with other farmers. And 
the alphabetical combination of those so all over the world. Our organization, Federation Southern Co-op, we have a cooperative member in Zimbabwe, we've got a cooperative member in Gambia, we've got a cooperative member in Senegal, we got a cooperative member in the Virgin Islands. I left out somewhere. <laughs> but now, some of them black people ain't going nowhere now. But they have opportunities. We have members that have opportunities for all of them places. But you know, uh, our biggest problem now is finding the next generation of farmers. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of them, but I can understand why. It's still a little hard work, but it takes a huge intake. And those that grew up on the farm, I ain't never understand that. <laughs> I should do something, but I just tend to leave myself. <laughs> <laughs> So they get a little late, get time. I got three grades and three grades there for you. Every last one of them, Mississippi State. You got a degree in agriculture engineer, chemical engineers, and graduated in, in, in December in Texas in January. Much in Mississippi, but we, we don't have much to offer them. That's the biggest thing we Work on how can we get them not to leave? Yeah. Well, they, you know, Mississippi, oh, you, you got a degree in engineering, Mississippi, oh, you 50,000. You can go to Texas and start off at 90,000. <laughs> That's a no brainer there. So I go out there and visit with them out there asking if they got another opening out here. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I'm glad y'all could be with them. I wish y'all could stay long. We can have them. Real ball around here in the next three or four days. <laughs> Mr. Ben, may we have a group picture with you outside? Yeah, I think so I met, met them. Yes. That y'all could be with us. So we could do it in the front? Well, if you want to. Okay, we could do it in the front. So, so y'all third is not, what are y'all, freshmen, seniors, juniors? Freshmen, seniors. 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 Mississippi Delta. Yeah. Yeah. We, we've been here since yeah. last Saturday. Where y'all at up there? Greenwood. Greenwood, uh, Greenville. Yeah, Miss Maryland. Miss Maryland. Ain't going to be much business. Ain't going to do nothing but eat and drink. Y'all caught me drinking. <laughs> Great goose and orange juice. <laughs> 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 Ain't going to be much business at this meeting. Now, you come on down to the local co-op. My local co-op is Indian Spring Farm Associates. They were founded in 1980. That's 42 years old. It was started by eight farmers. And they, they, they were selling produce and stuff to brokers. So they said the, the broker was saying the black farm one flag and the white farm one flag. How did they know that? Out of those eight, two of them were white. In the same co op, it's always been white and black. We got 35 members, we got six, six white members, and one on the board. Mm -hmm. That race thing, when it got down to to deal with, we all had to work together, it didn't matter. You got a bunch of small farms, some white, some black, some. My farm, three sides is white, one, one of my neighbors is black. We had to work together. I forgot about that, <laughs> you know, this race thing then. So, in the French cooperative, so they decided they would take their money and buy a 10 wheeler truck, a gas burner, and haul this part up to Chicago. And then I got started. It started, my cooperative was set up as a stock car. You got to buy a share of stock in to be a member. Now, you can, you can be a member by paying $24 a year, but if you want to be a real member and have a right to vote and all that stuff, you got to pay a share of stock. So the stock was $200. If you bought a share of stock for $200, 35, 40 years ago, at the last board meeting, everybody that bought a share of stock before 2000, that share was for $1,000. So it really, Made a good investment. Some people have four or five shares. I only one share of both. 
Washing in bathtub. And we built another place. So the place we in now is 10,000 square foot. We got walk in cooling processing rooms and loading docks and almost everything. And it took us seven years to build that place. It cost $380,000 25 years ago. We were trying to get the same money out of the state of Mississippi that they built these car plants with. <laughs> Economic development money. So we were asking the state for two hundred thousand dollars. We were asking the feds for a hundred. Okay. Funny thing about that, you know, the state of Mississippi said if you get the federal government to commit to give you some, the state will give you some. So that means should have been the other way around. Mm -hmm. Once we got the federal government. You know, all that come out of that business development money, all these farm bills, and all that. Now, a bunch of money in there to build local control meat processing. One being built in Mississippi right now, it's off $11,500. But so they found out through the pandemic, one no more mom and pop <laughs> processing. So we, we went through this whole part of get all this paperwork together. The great governor of Mississippi, Mississippi Kirk Porter, I have to know what's saying. <laughs> Laid on his head for four years. Mm. Mm. Oh, we got out there. Haley Barber signed the next day. <laughs> so he had us jammed up for four years. Silver <laughs> in Mm -hmm. Get this dude growing cotton and picking it by hand. You get this step harvest that cotton crop, which I did. And next year, my father made me an offer on the farm. This is how they do it in the farm. The first year, they'll, they'll find this, your family with you, buy all the seeds, fertilizer, and everything for you. For one year. I said, no, you be on your own. I do my own crop. I was growing my crop all up, all along at the same time. But that year, I made a whole lot of cotton. In 1975, I bought a brand new Chevrolet pickup truck, great cash for <laughs> Now, like this farm event, I believe I stay in. <laughs> Little did I know in the 80s, it's going to be a farm crisis. Price went down in this rate, went to 18%. Shake at the time because all the platforms you couldn't get your money. The money had to be signed from the office. So if you wanted to go buy a ton of footlights, two hundred dollars, you had to you had to get those things from the farm office. Send your own money. <laughs> That was, that was a problem. Only black farmer had them kind of long. They called them. Oh, been so long ago, I forgot what they called them. It was a term where you couldn't spend the money without the office signing. Oh, I can't remember. It'll come to me later on. <laughs> but then I continued to farm cotton until I farm cotton most of my farming career. All of a sudden, cotton got to. I didn't want to keep buying money. But if you grow cotton now, and you grow an acre of cotton, you're going to put in, you're going to have an investment of $1,500 an acre. Well, you're picking it up. If you're going 800 acres, y'all do the math. How much money you got in seed for black? <laughs> so I decided I went to soybeans, corn. I always had seed cows. I always have. Trees. I'm harvesting corn acres of trees now. I'm cutting corn acres of timber. And I hope it'll bring me $500 acres. It's going to be $20,000. The timber price is low, but the store of timber is very high. You go buy two before you steal it. I'm not getting a whole lot of money for it. I'm getting 
think about it now, I'm mean, a $5 a pump for the truck hold 20 tons of timber. What I'm getting out of it? I'm a dog. <laughs> so I shouldn't be cutting, but I'm putting that 40 acre back in, in the farm there. That's my whole reason for cutting. And then I, now I'm going off of 320 acres. 150 acres of cropland and the rest of it is in trees and pasture. So 12 different vegetables. I'm on the air round. So I'm always got something to say and let me get a hard, hard breed of the day. And now we set up terms on some college cheese. We're working through a cooperative. East Frank Farm Village has got 35 members and about 21 of them is farming. We bring it to the co-op and wash it. Bag it, cut it, trim it, whatever you have to do to get it to the market. So we got seven, eight re restaurants in New Orleans. Uh, we got Paris. In the Paris. Which is the casino. casino. It's 29 in the state of the I think 12 of them is under the umbrella. Umbrella. We're growing them for where? New mm -hmm. York, Boston, <laughs> uh, all back east. We got the contract right now for 300 pounds for national grocery store in Massachusetts. But now that ain't that ain't that ain't much now. I'm going 15 acres myself at 50,000 pounds an acre. I'm in water another day. Mm -hmm. You said 13 <coughs> times five. You said 13 times five. 15 times five. 750,000 pounds of water. They want 300,000 pounds back east. That, that can come off of my phone. Excuse me, baby. So we, we, we negotiated with the program. Right I wanted to 
Salute. I want to be here to ride from my farm in South Mississippi to New York City and North Franco. You know, how many of y'all been there for tonight? What else y'all been there? Man, Sam. I'm Alan. I'm Alan. I'm Alan. What else? Just a <laughs> I mean, and then you got to go day. You got to go day. See, they control. You got to go day. See, they squat, skate, they open, they 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 have them see, they want them see, they prepare to receive. So we can control your price, right? Because since you don't have any variety, they can just control. They gonna tell you what variety. Yeah. They gonna tell you what they gonna pay. We got a co-op in North Delta. They grow purple hair, purple hair seed the wall. And they were producing hundred thousand pounds. I don't see how they're making it. My Walmart gave them a dollar and eighteen cents. Now Walmart gave them a dollar seventy-five cents. It's sixteen ounces, but you had to put eighteen ounces in the bag because they figure by the time they get what they're going, they're going to leave, lose two ounces. And they just kept going down. So last year they decided not to. Even even now to plant or not to plant. Well, diesel oil done went from three dollars a gallon to four eighty. Non taxable diesel oil. You don't have to farm, you don't have to pay no tax on it. So you don't know what what I'm gonna charge for these water now. They they asked me what what I what 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 I want for this water now. July and August. I really can't say. I'm gonna put the temperature. All these economists at me. I'm gonna put the like whatever I come up with. I'm gonna add ten percent to it. And that's what I'm gonna want. They pay us by the wall mill. So they said that I want four dollars a wall mill delivered to Memphis warehouse, and we put twenty four hundred wall mill on the truck. That sounds like a lot of money, though. Go down to go down. That's about ten thousand dollars load. I do good to make a thousand dollars out of it. After I pay everything to everybody. Mm. What if I can if I can make it? So that's lemon for me, even cotton for me, flour beans for me. You know, the thing about them kind of crops, you 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 can store them. So like, how does your transportation work? Like, do y'all have certain drivers? Do y'all have your own trucks? Or like, how does that go when it comes to distribution? I go out to 20 years ago, so we go in and we buy our own truck. That didn't work. 
So now we contract show. Fortunate enough, I got three nephews. Got I mean, truck. They got four trucks and seven trailers. Mm -hmm. Refrigerated trailers. So I got in-house transportation. That's good. Yes, I'm happy for you. But the thing about that, I have to pay them cash more than I can pay somebody off the street. <laughs> they don't want me to pay them up front and then come back. You want some more? Uncle Ben can I have another two hundred. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I come out there most of the time getting somebody help me. One of them left yesterday. He going he going 283 miles to Memphis. One thousand fifty dollars. Some great don't want to I was I was looking at that thing on three dollars a mile. So I'm three dollars a mile from Memphis at nine hundred dollars. So he getting over that for us. He on the load of pipes right now. See, that's the thing about not only farming business, any business, how you can forecast the market and what it's going to cost you a year from now. And as good as that, you make some money. Now, we are co office and we run to what they call the Super Six, six something about all the co office that working together. Super Pack Six. So you got these big cooperatives like in St. Paul. They have cooperative store, but they probably got, I don't know, they got five or six big old stores. 200,000 members. So when we sell to them, they gonna feel very good. We'll send a load to St. Paul, the Harvest, Harvest Co-op, I believe. It's in Boston, Cambridge, in Cambridge, Massachusetts. They got four or five stores around Harvard that is all co op stores. They don't pay us what it's really, they really should pay us. I like selling to me. They'll give us 49 cents a pound. So you got a, what is, you got 10 pound watermelon. That's what all that said, eh? So you like to sell it, but they don't buy for the load of two. And I'm dealing with a pair of spotters. I got yellow spots, green spots, they up there. What is it? What that mean? It ain't gonna stay in the field. And then you got about a three to five days harvest winter that it get it that is fed, heated, and spread. So now you're in the bad business, you know, I can't say it. Well, I'll wait the next week. You load the price, you gotta sell it. Okay. You I, work. If I wait the next week, I, I, I can't sell it. Mm -hmm. no. well, I, feel, I just be tired up there. Well, I got to get it, even after I get it out. You harvest the watermelon, where it is, and you don't wash it and box it. You still ain't got no three or four more days. So what we try to do is we load an 18 wheel or whatever it's going to be. They squash, squash it 20,400 boxes for the truck. You want to harvest the day, you want it gone tonight. In theory, man. <laughs> Can't, you can't afford to keep it. And you want to all the all all the liabilities on the farm. We lost eighteen with old squad here in the Boston. Y'all know about this technology thing. They got a tracker thing in there <coughs> in that refrigerated truck. They can monitor the temperature in there all the way to the it off. So the truck, you can't let it get too low, you can't let it get too high, and they get up in there with it. And the whole load down. Yeah, I done paid the truck. I done rolled the crop. I done paid somebody to hog. Well, I might have a farm.